Good morning. Today we are going to talk about the area of a circle. This is the circle. We should know some important definitions about the circle. The first one is the radius. The radius is a line segment joining between the center of the circle and any point on the circle. The second one is the diameter. It's a line segment joining between two points and it passes through the center of the circle. The third one is the chord. The chord is a line segment joining between two points and it doesn't pass through the center. We should remember that the circumference of the circle equals 2 by R or by D. Its measuring unit is the centimeter or the meter. We should know well that the by equals 22 over 7 or approximately equals 3.14. The area of the circle equals by R squared or by times r times r and its measuring unit is centimeter squared or meter squared then we would take some examples to know how to get the area of the circle the question says find the area of each of the following the first one a circle of radius length five centimeter how to get its area as we know that area equals by r squared. So it's equal 3.14 times 5 squared equals 78.5 centimeters squared. The second one, a circle of diameter 15 centimeter. We should remember that the radius equals half the diameter. So r equals half d equals half times 15 equals 7.5 centimeters. After that, the area equals by r squared equals 3.14 times 7.5 squared equals 176.625 centimeters squared. The last one, a circle of radius length 10 centimeter. The area equals by r squared equals 3.14 times 10 squared equals 314 centimeters squared. After that, we are going to talk about the cube and its area. This is the shape of the cube. The cube consists of six congruent squares. We should remember that the area of the square equals the side length times the side length. Then we would move to the lateral surface area or the LSA, which is the sum of areas of all faces that are not bases, which equals the area of one face times four, which equals the edge length S times itself times four. After that, we would move to the total surface area or the TSA. It's about the sum of areas of all faces, including the bases, which equals the area of one phase times six, which equals edge length S times itself times six. Then we would take an example to know how to get the lateral surface area and the total surface area of the cube. The question says that a cube shaped box whose edge length is 3 cm. The required is to find the lateral area and the total area. For the solution, first we should get the area of one face or the area of the square, which is the side length times the side length equals three times three equals nine centimeters squared. 
Then the lateral surface area equals area of one phase times four equals nine times four equals 36 centimeters squared. After that, the total surface area equals area of one face times six equals nine times six equal 54 centimeters squared. The second question is a cube of edge length six centimeter find the lateral surface area and the total surface area. For the solution, the area of one face or the area of the square equal side length times side length equals 6 times 6 equals 36 centimeters squared. For the lateral surface area equals area of one face times 4 equals 36 times 4 equals 144 centimeters squared. For the total surface area equals area of one face times 6 equals 36 times 6 equals 216 centimeters squared.